both teams go into this matchup undefeated. Uh, Clemson defeated Florida State yesterday, 34 to 28. And I feel like no one's really talking about uh, the other big orange, Syracuse. Uh, they are, I feel like they, someone mentioned, was it UCLA? That no one's talking about them. They're undefeated in the AP poll. The Orange begins the season 6-0 and for the first time since 1987. When was the yeah, last time you heard? I was born. Hey, when was the last time you heard uh, Syracuse in the conversation, EG? Man, it's been a while. I think they had um, – who was that running back they had? It's been a while since I've seen anything. They had Donovan McNabb, I think, uh, back in the day. Um, it's been a while for Syracuse, man. I'm, they're ranked number 14 now. I guess we got to put some respect on Syracuse. I don't – I overlooked him as well, man, but I still got Clemson coming out on top of that game. Yeah, man. Uh, I, I got Clemson winning this game as well. Yeah. Um, the thing is, is I've been keeping an eye on Syracuse. And one thing to say, there was a couple years ago, Syracuse was giving Clemson, when Clemson was really good, they were giving Clemson a run for their money. I want to say one time they were either winning at halftime or like really like close at halftime, but they just don't have the depth to uh to go up against uh you know the the talent that Clemson has um but you know I'm happy that they are bowl eligible uh right now they still have some building they still have to recruit uh this is not going to be a game that they win uh because this will be at Clemson that also gives them the advantage yes it's a you know 11 a.m kickoff and everything but Clemson got this. DJU is not a quarterback that is easy to take down. You know, uh, the, one of the teams, uh, what was that, Florida State, they learned that last night. He was escaping the pocket. And I'm talking about had a guy literally grabbed on his arm and stuff, and he just slips right on out the tackle and, you know, takes off, man. And I, I've been talking, a lot of people, even Clemson fans, were down on DJU. And I said, man, I've been following this guy. Uh, we had his dad in, in one of the spaces, and he even broke down uh, the different things that his son was doing this offseason, working and developing as a quarterback and working and shedding some of that weight down, you know, so that he can be a little bit more mobile and quicker and things like that. And we're, we're seeing it, man. I want to say shout out to DJU. Uh, I do want to see Cle Clemson's defense get better because they were supposed to be one of these top defenses coming into the season, and they haven't looked up to it uh, like that, especially uh, that that front seven. I, I was expecting them to be a whole lot better than what they were. This is going to be a good game, but I got Clemson uh, probably pulling away in the second half. Hey, the California quarterbacks, are, they're, they're here this year, man. You got Bryce, you got DJ, and you got Stroud, all them guys coming in from california man They're, all of them are legit looking like dj was the only question mark coming into the year and he's answering questions i saw his numbers compared to trevor lawrence numbers and and they're actually similar if if clemson didn't lose too many games last year or the year before i, I think they'll be talking about him in a more positive light but his numbers are aligning with trevor lawrence's numbers they said they tired of hearing y'all talk about DJ. He can produce. So um, for this game, oh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> hey, that's my DJ. For this game, hey. I'm gonna have to pick uh, Syracuse over this. Hey, I want to upset, so I'm gonna have to go with another big orange. And look, okay. I got Syracuse was uh, my grad school, so I'm gonna have to go up there. You know, not only are they a basketball team, but look, we a football team as well. So.